G'day guys, Kayla from Mavigo Travel. Today, I'm actually out in the bush, about to do some full driving. Behind me, power line track. So this is Freeman's Waterhole, the ARV test track, or the training ground, plenty of different names for it, but basically power line track, a bit of an old quarry at the end of it. So I thought it's been a while since I've had a full driving video, so let's just go, have some fun, give us a chance to test out these little tires, and we'll just see what happens. Major Condor 33s. We're uh, belly out with the tracks under this. And uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably one of the most embarrassing situations I've been in, but good reason as to why you need a winch. This time, we are completely belly down, got stuck going downhill. <laughs> All right, Deck, give me the winch controller. You put it in drive. is quite easily my most embarrassing recovery. <laughs> As you can see, that is where we were stuck. <laughs> Your window. Uh, you're about to step over a rock, drop down, yeah, and then you can. I yeah. think you can straighten your wheels now. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Good job. Oh, what are they doing? Maybe I'll have a train or something. I think so. So this one here, I think I was very fun last time too. <laughs> what was that? A slider. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit lower than that. She's definitely a little bit lower than she used to be. This is back what I wanted to do. If we just go do the loop, what do you reckon? Yeah. Go a bit. Yeah, it just looks more interesting. I reckon the training guys use this as a loop. Mm hmm. You reckon it's gonna be deep? Mm -hmm. I reckon left's gonna be fairly deep. Left, you're in? I reckon left's gonna be deeper. Yeah, it's well, I can't believe we got bogged. <laughs> Straight away. Can't believe you got bogged. Yeah. Well, I'm flying the drone. Uh, I reckon in the middle it's deep. Yeah. <laughs> so don't go right. That's pretty shallow on this side. Oh, there's a. There's a. You're in the middle. Yeah, so if I just come this side, we should be right. Ha <laughs> ha 
want to show about all terrains as well is they build up really quickly with mud. So, but you know, obviously all terrains you should try and stay out of the mud. The biggest thing with running these little tyres is you've got to drive to the car's limitations and obviously they're completely different to when it had 35 inch muddies on it. So the difference between all terrains and mud tyres off-road is absolutely amazing, even not in muddy situations. What I've found is you have to drive much harder to achieve the same outcome and this is potential to break things. Well, <laughs> she's raining and it it's pretty much clay out here so we're going to bail out. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the limitations of the new little tyres? I'm not convinced they're going to stay on. Until next time, go travel.